Okay. Um, what we're going to do is uh, quickly look at uh, how we get a track into WaveLab, and then uh, we can then master it by um, looking at some of the the waveforms, and then adding some compression and some bits and pieces, just like a stereo expander. So we go into WaveLab, and that's what we get. Um, we got a floating um, effects bar, which we stick over to the right. We have these visualizers here, which we'll have a look in a minute. And then we have our main sort of play option record in the corner there. So to get a track in, the way I do it is sort of half minimize it. Find the track on our drive. In this case, we've got that track that we've mixed and put effects on as much as possible in Cubase. So for the sake of this, we're going to use uh, a track I haven't uh, yet done, which would be... Um, Saturday 04 so we just drag it and drop it into the window in WaveLab and what we should see is this decoding down the bottom and hopefully the video and the audio will be in sync but if not you can see I'm trying to highlight it by putting the, the uh, cursor around it so there's our track in the window we can open out so now it's embedded into WaveLab, we can see now that the track, the length of the track by the top bar, which gives us an overview, and this is actually a snapshot of what we're playing at that time. So if we start the track by just going in and pressing play, we can hear the track play, and we can now go in and put the master volume up and down. It's just like any other, when it peaks, we can then cancel it in two ways. We can hit the dropout button, or if it's red, we can hit the clip button. Okay, just to show you um, the two effects which I use um, mainly on, on them will be if we go into the effects section on the top, hit the blank area, we're going to open up the options. Go to VST and then down the bottom there we have a multiband compressor. So you click that, we've got the option now to either move them up and down ourselves or we can go in the preset and a good one would be to use it the FM radio which is, is quite powerful so as soon as we hit it we'll probably hear a f good effect the bass comes out more again we can go in there and adjust as much as we like now once we've happy with that we can close that down and we can open our visualizer up and this is where we're going to use look at the sound wave the first one that I use is the level meter Obviously we can see left and right, pans left and right, and we can see our level outputs, so we can now go in and alter it. With a clip there we can now drop out the clip and we can just bring it down. So you can hear the dramatic effect just by using one effect, which is a multi-compressor. But obviously the best sound will be out front with your speakers. Another one I'll use is the stereo expander and with this it just gives it a bit of width to the track so I'll just put that on for you and when the track comes in and obviously you'll see the effect straight away okay so we get a real good wide uh, track out of that so let's push those down now and the next visualizer we'll look at is the phase shift this gives us a um, the way in which the track is actually being pushed out. So it's quite central and it's quite fat, so that's a, that's a good sign. The other one I use is the spectrum meter, which is the standard um, equalizer type of uh, where we can see that we do have a nice broad uh, mix there. So I'm quite happy with that. Stop the track. I thought we got some clipping, so I'll just need to drag that down a little bit and just try it again. Just bring it down until we lose the clip. That should be about right. Again, you can play around with this and go through the whole track and make sure you don't get any clips. But we know you can see what I'm trying to get out there. So we stop the track, and what we need to do now is if we're going to save it, we need to render the track. We need to render all these effects and our master output 
so that it makes a flat image of the track so then we can save it as a WAV. So we need to render it, so we hit the render button we get our options window up we want the whole track which is a default we press OK and now what's going to happen is it's going to flatten the track out with all of the effects added. I'm going to sort of pause the uh, screen a minute and that, let that do its thing. Okay, I've started again and all that's happened is it's reached the end it's it's actually um, it's rendered it and what will happen then is you get the track again appear in the window but it's now in inverse video to let you know that it has been rendered. So if we play we'll hear everything including our effects. Okay, so we're quite happy with that. Um, at any time we're not happy we can use the back button and that will then take us out of the render and we can go back in and add some more effects if we want or change the volume or whatever we need to do. Okay, so we're happy with the track finally. We go into File, we go Save As and this is where we get the option to either keep it as an MP3 or keep it as a WAV. Well for this sake we're going to be using it in a WAV because we're going to put it into a montage in a minute. So for now I want to just show you the options for MP3 just so that you have you, you, you know how to do it. So we select MP3 and down the bottom here this is an active button which we can change the sample rate and encoding. So for instance the encoding is all wrong that's really quite crap. So we go to edit we then got the drop down menu and we can select the best rate we possibly can. Click in the box and then we get highest quality and we also want the highest quality slowest render. So let's click OK. OK again and then we've got this option here keep as my settings. So if we click that next time we uh, come to mix we should have that set up to 320 but I can tell you for a fact that possibly with this version you won't get that. But we're going to save it as WAV, so we go down to the WAV option, and it's already preset. The WAV, obviously, its uh, in, uh, its levels will be set for us. We click save, and then what will happen is down the bottom we get decoding of the track being written. Once it's done, we don't get anything other than that bar going away. We need to then minimize. We go into our place where we were going to store it. And what we should see is Saturday 04, but WAV. And that should live there. So there's our new version, ready to drop into montage.